Get ready for combat as our up-and-coming superstars battle it out and settle their differences in the ring tonight. The following contest is a TNA original, the Ultimate X. The winner will be the first to navigate the ropes and take possession of the object in the center. Welcome, lads and lasses, to an exciting night of pro wrestling action from right here in London, England. The following contest is a TNA original, the Ultimate X. The winner will be the first to navigate the ropes and take possession of the object in the center. Ladies and gentlemen, from the hard rock industry, from the beautiful Freedom Center Arena, Welcome to TNA Impact! The following contest is a TNA original, the Ultimate X. The winner will be the first to navigate the ropes and take possession of the object in the center. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live tonight from the wildest, loudest building in professional wrestling, the Impact Zone. Jeremy's great. Love you, Jeremy. If you don't buy TNA Impact, Joe is going to kill you. One of the things I'm really proud about with TNA The Game is the fact that we've uh, taken something that's new in TV and we've created a game out of it that I truly believe is the best wrestling game out there. Uh, we have competition, and we've gone up against that competition, and I really think that we can blow them away. This is the Stinger, and I'm coming after you! I'm gonna put the Sting on you! I'll give you the Scorpion Death Drop! Or maybe the Scorpion Death Hold! I don't know! It matters what kind of mood I'm in! My proudest moment on what we've done with TNA is probably probably goes back to the first time that we showed it when we had kind of everyone had very low expectations of us at that point in time and we kind of uh, blew them out of the water I guess was was kind of how it seemed to be to us it was it was really good to see everyone's reaction to it and how much that our very first demo that we had people would pick it up and they didn't want to put it down I'm the king of the mountain Jeff Jarrett and I better kick ass on this game. It's one of those things that everybody works so hard on their little portion of what they're doing. And then sometimes we just have these moments, like every couple of months, where something new that you didn't even know was being worked on gets put in the game, and then it just looks phenomenal. Everybody, everybody goes, wow, you know, I didn't know that other department was working on that, but it's really, really looking cool. Sunday, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday. Looking fantastic. Talking about the Big Top 40. Got some jazz coming your way. Yeah. You know, while the visuals of TNA are beautiful, uh, the technology is totally cutting edge. You know, what we're most proud of is is the nonstop gameplay. I mean, the action is just crazy in this game. You know, the responsiveness, the pounding the player, it never gets old. My birthday was actually yesterday. I'm only 23 years old, and I still consider video games to be more than half of my life. From an art standpoint, the thing that really makes me most proud about this game is being able to get the level of detail and quality in the characters and still run at 60 frames a second. I still got my job. This is a good thing. I, I like being a wrestler. It's the only thing I'm good at, but, but I'm afraid of I'm afraid of the other wrestlers. They're, they're bigger and they're faster and they're smarter and they're better looking and they're stronger. Did I say that they're faster than me? Oh. And you could actually look at our game and, and you will see, you know, every little detail that's in the show. You know, and we're very pleased with the way the ring itself looks. And that was, you know, one of our biggest focuses. And I think that we, I think that we got it super accurate. You know, so, and uh, and of course that's not just me. That's my team. You know, my guys have just done an awesome job on, you know, putting together a very very realistic looking wrestling ring. Who does? Who throws a dog? You're a like cheater. That? No, so you're cheating. Styles. Yeah, that's phenomenal. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get up, Jay. Uh, Hit it again. Here it comes, no. Jay! Here it comes, no. Jay! I know you fail! Ah! Yes! No, stop throwing stuff! One! Get two! Down. Get three! <laughs> Woo! 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 Yeah! Yeah! I guess the most important part about the sound effects for this game is that 
We really wanted something that was authentic. Um, we want you to absolutely believe that what you hear in the game is what you would hear if you were standing right beside the ropes or if you were sitting right in the front row. Hi, I'm Christy Hemme and thanks for playing TNA Impact, the video game. And it's probably the simplest for me. It's just the fact that when I have two guys in the ring and we're fighting, me and a friend, it's fun. I know it sounds simple and I know it sounds trivial. It's so hard, you can't quantify fun. You can't like, there's no formula for how to make it fun. And we have that, and that to me, it's, it's just cool. I'm so proud of that. And here comes the monster of ants. Ladies and gentlemen, about to make his way to the ring, weighing in excess of 350 pounds, he is the six foot eight monster.
wrestling fans making his way to the ring at this time from New York City, New York, Brother Ray. Wrestling fans making his way to the ring at this time from New York City, New York, Brother And now presenting. 
representing the Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniel. And now presenting the Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniel.
making his way to the ring. Fans, this is the Black Machismo, Jay Lethal. And now, making his way to the ring. Fans, this is the Black Machismo, Professional wrestling. 
his way to the ring. The seven footer, big sexy Kevin Nash. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing from the Motor City of Detroit, Michigan, big sexy Kevin Nash. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing from the Motor City of Detroit, Michigan, Big Sexy, Kevin Nash! And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing from the Motor City of Detroit, Michigan, Big Sexy, Kevin Nash! He is about to make his way to the ring. Entering the ring at this time, the War Machine, Rhino! Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring from the Motor City of Detroit, Michigan, he is the War Machine, Rhino! Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring from the Motor City of Detroit, Michigan, he is the War Machine, Rhino! Entering the ring at this time, the War Machine, Rhino! Entering the ring at this time, the War Machine, Rhino!
gentlemen from the deep blue sea, this is Shark Boy! Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring at this time, coming all the way from the deep blue sea, this is Shark Boy! And now, ladies and gentlemen, coming to us from Bombay, India, the Guru, Sanjay Dutt! Ladies and gentlemen, now accepting donations at this time, on his way to the ring, he is the Guru Sanjay Dutt! Wrestling fans making his way to the ring at this time, from Hollywood, Bombay, India, he is the Guru Sanjay Dutt! Ladies and gentlemen, now accepting donations at this time, on his way to the ring, he is the Guru Sanjay Dutt! Wrestling fans making his way to the side from Hollywood, Bombay, India. He is the Guru Sanjay Dutt. Making his way to the ring at this time. Introducing from Brooklyn, New York, he is the warrior, Senshi! And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing from Brooklyn, New York, he is the warrior, Senshi! Gentlemen, introducing from Brooklyn, New York, he is the warrior, Senshi! And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing from Brooklyn, New York, he is the warrior, Senshi!
from Detroit, Michigan, 5 foot 10, 215 pounds, Alex Shelley. Wrestling fans. 
and stand back as we reluctantly allow into the ring a man with total disregard for his own safety and the safety of others. A true danger to all around him. This is suicide. And now, introducing from parts of them, a man who fears nothing and no one. The bull, the reckless, the maniacal, the inconceivable suicide. from parts unknown, a man who fears nothing and no one, the bull, the reckless, the maniacal, the inconceivable suicide. TNA Wrestling fans stand back as we reluctantly allow into the ring a man with total disregard for his own safety and the safety of others, a true danger to all around him. This is suicide. Wrestling fans stand back as we reluctantly allow into the ring a man with total disregard for his own safety and the safety of others. A true danger to all around him. This is suicide. Entering the ring at this time, a man who's left nothing but a trail of destruction and broken bodies behind him. For your own safety, please give him a big round of applause. the ring at this time, a man who's left nothing but a trail of destruction and broken bodies behind him. For your own safety, please give him a big round of applause. Entering the ring at this time, a man who's left nothing but a trail of destruction and broken bodies behind him. For your own safety, please give him a big round of applause. the ring at this time, a man who's left nothing but a trail of destruction and broken bodies behind him. For your own safety, please give him a big round of applause. TNA Wrestling fans, please welcome to the ring from Jacksonville, Florida, 6 foot 6, 270 pounds, Tonko. Gentlemen, making his way to the ring at this time from Jacksonville, Florida, six foot six, two hundred seventy pounds, Tonko. <laughs> TNA Wrestling fans, please welcome to the ring from Jacksonville, Florida, six foot six, two hundred seventy pounds, Tonko. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring at this time from Jacksonville, Florida, six foot six, two hundred seventy pounds, Tonko. TNA Wrestling fans, please welcome to the ring from Jacksonville, Florida, six foot six, two hundred seventy pounds, Tonko. Introducing the Black Machismo. 
Gizmo, Shay Lethal. Oh, yeah, I'm the Black Machismo, yeah. I'm gonna teach you some tricks of the trade to help you beat your friends and the Snake Man if you like. You know, uh, I may be the uh, best gamer in TNA, so you need to consider yourself very lucky that I'm your teacher. Yeah, the Fallen Angel has uh, volunteered to be my special whipping boy, so Daniels, get your butt in the ring. Oh, yeah, now here's the basics. Of course, you can uh, perform your standard punching and kicking attacks. Here's a little secret, yeah. If you hold down the strong modifier button while you press your basic attack button, this will dish out a stronger version of your attack. Dig it! Yeah, that uh, strong modifier is a very cool technique, so try it with all your attacks. Come on, Fallen Angel, try and hit me! Bam! Did you taste that one, Daniels, huh? Everything can be countered or reversed, so plan your attacks wisely. Mm-hmm. You want some more, Daniels? Nuh-uh-uh. I told you, everything can be countered or reversed. You think you're safe out there, Fallen Angel? Okay, now we'll try the exact same button press with him inside the ring. Yeah, Chris Daniels has fallen and can't get up. No one can handle me. Oh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Hello, I'm Samoa Joe, and I'm going to be teaching you all about submissions. But before we start, I just want to educate you a little bit about submissions. You know, it's a little known fact that only the toughest of the toughest wrestlers have the skills to perform submissions and that most people are completely and utterly afraid to step in the ring against a submission master. Now, since it takes two to tango or to submit, I'll need some help. And if there's one person I love putting through submissions, well, it would be AJ Styles. It all starts from the lockup position. From here, you press the submission buttons to initiate the submission. Here's where your reflexes get put to the test. Check out the mini game that's appeared. The goal is to hit your button sequence faster than your opponent hits his. If you do, you inflict more damage and pain on him. Oh yeah, but I'd watch out. If he wins, he'll break free. How on earth did he get out of that? There are also ground submissions. Sorry, AJ. I needed you on the ground. <laughs> we'll start with AJ's scrawny little neck. When you have your opponent on the ground, it works the same way with one big difference. Depending on where you're standing, you can put a hold on a specific body zone. If you wear a body zone down enough, you can make your opponent submit and tap out. Now, let's try to break off one of them chicken legs. And now, let's try to rip those arms out of socket. You know, I have to admit, it's really fun watching AJ scream in agony. So again, when your opponent has a red body zone, you can put on one last hold. And provided you win your mini game, you can make him tap out and submit. Now you too can be a submission expert. But heads up, most guys like to fight back, unlike AJ. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Greetings, I am the Fallen Angel, and I shall now grace you with the scripture of the impact and the stun meters. The wretched Jay Lethal has volunteered to be my willing subject, but I shall refrain from smiting him too terribly. Behold, the stun meter. As you attack your opponent, you'll witness your victim's stun meter filling up. When a stun meter is filled, that player will be stunned and lose his ability to move or defend himself for some period of time. You will be at your mercy, so this will give you the perfect opportunity to strike down upon him with great vengeance and furious anger, a barrage of immense destruction. In his defense, 
A stunned player can shake his analog sticks to lessen the amount of time he is stunned for, thus hoping to reduce the potential wrath inflicted. Now, my disciples, heed my words as I teach you the reading of the impact meter. The purpose of filling the impact meter is to earn the ability to unleash your character's finishing move. The meter will progressively fill as you perform a variety of moves to your opponents. The more various and difficult the moves, the more rapidly the meter fills. Ah! Now that the impact burns within you, you have a few moments to grab your unwilling victim and execute your finishing move. Sleep well, Jay Lethal. <laughs> that was my trademark, Angel's Wings. And this was the gospel according to the fallen angel. Two. That just shows you hard work always pays off in the end. Hello everyone, I'm AJ Styles, and I'm gonna walk you through the Ultimate X Match. First thing, the goal is to get up there and untie the X. All right, let's go over the basics. Take a look at the Ultimate X meter above my name. That meter indicates the progress you've made on untying the X. In order to pull the X down, you'll need to fill this meter. But first, we need to get up there. All right, here we go. You gotta climb a turnbuckle that leads to the X cables. Once you're at the top, you gotta jump to the higher cables. Now make your way towards the big X hanging in the center. So far, pretty easy. Once you're at the X, press the action button and then you'll start the mini game. But now it gets a little tricky. This is where your timing skills come into play. The object of this mini game is to press the button shown while the bouncing ball is in the green section. Sounds easy, but it gets faster on every success. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to do this a couple times to win, but your progress will never be lost. Hope you have strong nerves. Just when you think you've seen it all. It's pretty easy when you're playing alone, but let's work on playing someone else. The objective here is to stop the other guy from getting the X. We need a dummy to help us. How about Samoa Joe? Yeah, I love beating on him. Okay, Joe, climb to the cable and work your way to the X. Okay, here's a quick way to pull someone down. Oh, how'd that feel, Joe? All righty, Joe, come and try to get me down. The easiest way to avoid the guy on the ground is just counter. All right, Joe, come on up here. When you find yourself in this situation, a quick way to get some room is kick the guy until he falls. All right, Joe. Try to kick me. Oh, I almost forgot. Press the counter button when he tries to attack you up here and you'll counter him. That should be enough to get you started. Good luck. And if you ever need a dummy to practice with, call Samoa Joe. Ah, uh, just kidding. Thanks, everybody. Center.